Hello and welcome to episode 22 of From A to Global Z. I'm your host, Dr. Bill Lord. For episode 21, I deviated from the format norm by dedicating the show entirely to mic talk time, and the episode featured a comparison between the recently released CAD E50 condenser microphone and nine more established mics in a similar price range. For this episode, we're back on the standard format track. I'll be offering up an inside view regarding where we are in developing a crucial project titled Living and Dying with COVID-19, The Maryland Stories. But before we dive in, it's Mic Talk Time. When I picked up a pair of CAD E50 mics several months ago, I discovered CAD had also released a few additional mics at that same time. And they released a couple of broadcast style mics. And one in particular caught, caught my eye, the CAD Podmaster Super D Dynamic Microphone. As timing would have it, I needed to pick up a couple broadcast type mics for the Living and Dying with COVID-19 project, so I placed an order. Now, it's important to note the CAD Podmaster mic comes in several configurations. This one is also referred to as the PM1200. The 1200 is an XLR model mic without any headphone inputs. It doesn't have any knobs, switches, or filters. And for just under $80, though, you get a pretty impressive bundle. You get a mic, a boom arm stand, a shock mount, and a clown nose windscreen. So it's pretty remarkable for 80 bucks. The Podmaster Super D has a super cardioid polar pattern, which means it is designed to primarily record what is directly in front of the mic while rejecting surrounding room noise. As it is a dynamic mic, it does not require phantom power. CAD makes a USB version of the mic, but the 1200 requires you to plug into an audio interface by XLR cable. As a broadcast mic, CAD is likely going for that smooth but slightly boomy low end. The price is certainly right, as is the bundle it ships with. So give it a listen, see what you think. But now it's time to go on with our show. Nonprofit organizations exist to serve their communities, and Global Z is a bit unique that since day one, we've been designed to serve local, state, regional, national, and international communities. And while we typically seek out talented student musicians and bring them together virtually to create original music while providing opportunities for teaching, learning, creating global friendships, and sowing the seeds for peace, it is my belief if we see a crucial need and our talents allow us to fill that need, we should do so. Such has been the case with the arrival and spread of COVID. Now I've been around for a year or two and hence the gray hairs, and never have I experienced anything like what the world has had to deal with as a result of this pandemic. This is truly an event of historical proportions. Moments such as these should be captured and archived for historical purposes, and that's exactly what we are doing with the launch of this project. By recognizing an historical need, we are pivoting to provide Marylanders an incredibly valuable, valuable opportunity to contribute to the betterment of mankind. This summer, Global Z will set up audio recording equipment in approximately 15 public libraries across the state of Maryland and train the library staff on the use of the equipment. Marylanders will then be invited to record how the pandemic has impacted their lives. With the assistance of Maryland State Library, these oral history digital recordings will become part of the collections of Maryland State Archives and Digital Maryland. They will be available to researchers and the general public. And select stories will be distributed with the assistance of Maryland's flagship NPR station, WYPR, to educate the people as to the good and bad sides of living through a pandemic age. Libraries across the state of Maryland have recently begun to open back up to receive patrons in person on a limited basis, and this is really great news. And one such library is the Urbana Regional Library, located in the small town of Urbana. Urbana Library has kindly agreed to serve as the pilot location for our project. Global Z is currently developing processes, participation agreement forms, job aids, and testing technologies with the assistance of the Urbana Library staff. Things are progressing nicely, and once all libraries are fully open without restrictions, we will install the audio equi equipment, 
train library staff across the state, then open the doors to the public so they can record their oral histories. We're truly honored to be working with par in partnership with Maryland Humanities, Maryland State Library, the Maryland State Archives, Digital Maryland, National Public Radio, Urbana Regional Library, and more than a dozen other libraries across Maryland to capture these tru truly crucial and historical data. Our best guess is the project will launch close to the latter part of summer 2021. That completes our update on our COVID oral history project. Please keep an eye out on our Facebook page or our website for current information on when, where, and how you may participate. And if you live in Maryland, I invite you to come tell your story. Be an active part of not only state history, but a history of humanity. This is an incredibly important project and everybody has a story to tell. So that wraps up another episode of From A to Global Z. I hope you found value in the information provided. Please join us to see what we're up to in episode 23. I'm going to wager we'll be back to talk about progress of another of our 2021 projects. But if you've watched any of our other episodes, surprises pop up and you just never know. Until then, please stay healthy. And if you've not been vaccinated, I hope you'll consider doing so. The Delta variant of the virus is upon us, and it sounds like Delta is a pretty nasty piece of work. Until next time, let's practice patience, understanding, kindness, and be excellent to each other. Wishing you peace through music. I'm Bill Lord. <laughs>